Hey guys, I have just started my journey from my home, Scarborough to downtown Toronto to visit Graffiti Alley. You can reach downtown Toronto by many means of transportation. It can be by bus, subway, train, taxi or car. I have started my journey via the car. So, these are the ways to get from Scarborough to downtown Toronto. On my right, you can see a 553.3 meter high concrete communication and observation tower which is otherwise called as CN Tower. Its name CN originally referred to Canadian National, the railway company that built the tower. It is a must visit place while you arrive in downtown Toronto. Moving ahead, you can see Rogers Centre, which is a multi-purpose stadium in downtown Toronto, Canada, situated just southwest of the CN Tower near the northern shore of Lake Ontario. Opened in 1989 on the former railway lands, it is home to the Toronto Blue Jays of Major League Baseball. Previously, the stadium was also home to the Toronto Argonauts of the Canadian Football League and the Toronto Raptors of the National Basketball Association. While it is primarily a sports venue, it also hosts other large events such as conventions, trade fairs, concerts, traveling carnivals, etc. Located within Toronto's fashion district, Graffiti Alley runs south of Queen Street from Spadina Avenue to Portland Avenue in an alleyway known as Rush Lane. The beginning of Graffiti Alley starts at the corner of Rush Lane and Portland Street. Then walk east. First of all, it is free to visit right behind the busy street of Queen and it spans quite a long distance. You can really see the creativity of the individuals and the different styles of each. The colorful street art filled stretch runs for nearly three blocks. Graffiti Alley is a home to massive swath of vibrant street art. Graffiti Alley is a prime example of just how engaging a street can be. Just look at all the people when you visit here. Everybody would be holding up their phones to take photographs and videos of the long stretch of murals and quirky characters that seem to leap off the walls of Gravity Alley. The narrow stretch runs over a half mile and every nook and cranny is covered in street art. Think of Gravity Alley as an open air gallery or living museum. Here you will find art by some of the most renowned street artists in Toronto, including Uber 5000, Elixir, Poser and many more. But do keep in mind that while one mural or art piece that exists one year could be gone the next time you visit. Artists are regularly painting over old works and replacing them with new creations. Located within Toronto's fashion district, Graffiti Alley runs south of Queen Street. You can visit Graffiti Alley anytime, but Toronto get cold in the winter, so warmer months, maybe from May through October, might be your best time to visit Graffiti Alley. A visit to Graffiti Alley puts you right in the heart of Toronto's Queen's West neighborhood meaning you are in close proximity to make other things to do in the city. Queen Street is lined with bars, cafes, restaurants and store selling everything from clothing and accessories to housewares, beauty and skincare products and music. So friends, thank you for joining me in the journey of Graffiti Alley. Hope you all like this journey with me and take out some time to come over here and visit this place with your friends. It's a nice happening and multicultural architects you can see in this graffiti alley. Kindly like and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.